Although lip service is paid to the concept of participative management, the real perceptions of leadership qualities completely contradict this view. It can be further seen that such surveys... Okay, so you can see that that example is quite uh, slow-paced. Let me see, what else do we have here? Related directly this one I've already with got. leadership style. Making the part. 1935. Got that already. Making a start. I think we've seen this one. I've uh, got some overheads here to... Finishing off. <coughs> um, ...dropped uh, a little yeah. uh, over the last few years. Although, although prof... I think we've seen all, my, all these videos then. It, and it's only available... Um, right, okay, so we've done these videos. We have more videos, but we'll watch them next week. Okay, what I want to do is quickly jump into your uh, homework you sent me. So let me see if I can get that open. Or maybe I'll just jump into the slides here. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Whose slides were these? <laughs> oh, is this the end already? This is not the first slide. This is not the first one? Okay. Here, here's the first one. Okay, Alan. So we're looking at some slide design here. Uh, do you want to go ahead and give us a quick uh, idea? So first, let me go jump over the first slide. All right. Okay. So you saw a ice cream shop or vendor on the street that are selling ice cream. So you have a picture of a vendor of a truck, okay, so and then you to choose your favorite flavors. Okay. Kind of ice cream you want. Okay. Choose your flavors. And Whoops. And after that, you're going to pay the bill. Who's he? Who's he? Is <laughs> the blood? Is that? Yes. Uh, you get money for blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's trademarked right there. Trademark. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. Okay, and then? And you get ice cream and you enjoy it. Enjoying it. This looks a little bit too big for her to finish, okay? And, and then? Finishes, you, you wipe your mouth. Mm, okay. And, no, and oh. then you leave happily. Leave happily. Mm, mm, I don't know. Let me see, where did I get the other homework at? I think I've got them all here. I don't know. Uh, not, not super. I'm not super impressed. Okay, we have another one here. Okay. <coughs> okay, so whose is this? Me. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You want to you want to uh, describe it to us, um, Alice? The topic is today is not my day. <laughs> And uh, I was playing with my friends. Okay, in the park here? Yeah, in next slide. And we, we saw someone, a little girl, just eat ice cream, so we discovered the ice cream car. Okay. And then we go to buy it and pay the money. Okay. And I'm too greedy. I have one, two, three, four, four scoop okay. ice creams. And then, yeah. yeah, next slide. And, oh, <laughs> a bicycle is rush over here, so I'm so scared, and my ice cream is fell off. Go okay. to the floor. Okay. And yeah, Today is not my, my day. Point. Okay. <laughs> All right, so your slides have a main point. Today is not my day. Yeah. You know, if you took this and you put today is not my day at the beginning, I think so. So here you would say, today is not my day. 
and this picture would be okay, but you say today is not my day, and that would make the, the reader think, oh, something about it's not my day. And that's strange because it looks like a happy day. But then you get to the end, and it's today's not my day, then it makes sense. So you see, getting the main idea at the beginning would be helpful to getting the audience interested in that. So I think that one, put the main idea up front would be good. Okay, let's see who else we got here. Okay, close this one, open this one. Okay, Amber, yes. you want to begin with yours? Change the idea. So here we have change the idea. Yes. All right, you want to explain? Should I go forward? Next. Next. Uh, I see the ice cream cup. Okay. Pretty well eat ice cream. Just All right. Then I think what kind of the ice cream I want. Choose yeah. the flavor. Yes. Okay. But when I see my pocket, I didn't have a lot of money, so I'm very sad. Feel very sad. I okay. only have ten dollars. All right. Okay. Next. Okay. Oh, I think an idea. Have an idea? <coughs> yes. Okay. I just buy an ice cream cookie and <laughs> cloud ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. Mm, okay, so so your point here is change my goal, change my. I want to change my things, things, things. Yeah, mama, mama, how to say that? So I think your main idea is not super clear. I understand what you're saying. The story is about changing your, what you wanted, right? You, you started here and you ended up here. You just bought the ice cream cone. But it's not really clear. So I'm not sure change the idea is right. It'd be more like... I don't know. <laughs> change what you want. Switch, switching behavior, something. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I could afford. That's, can you afford it? Can I afford it? What if I can't afford it? <coughs> what if I can't afford it? What, to, what if you don't have enough money? What if your money's not enough? Not enough money. <laughs> if that was your title here, then the last slide would make sense. Okay. You follow? Yes. So here you'd say, title, not enough money. And then this story begins to make some sense. So, you see what I'm saying? Not enough money. This happened, this happened, this happened. So, this happened. Okay. All right. Whose is this? Okay, let's begin. Ice cream is a yes. title. Ice cream. Okay. And next line. Okay. Like choosing favor. All right, now these slides are nice. Step, step, step. Right. Okay. Test color and promotion. Why I should the the favor of ice cream. Okay. And next is the process. Of process. Cooking. Process. Okay, I like that. And you think you have to decide. Choice. Or... Choice. Up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> huh? Okay, now, this approach is very nice. I like this. So let's take a look again. So, in this approach, Bo, what she's done is she's taken the more like. Uh, technical science approach it's like a like a marketing process like these are the things that happen and the slides are quite good because they're the each slide you quickly see you don't need to read the words each slide you can see what it's telling this slide is telling that you have these different parts they're different colors they have they fit in each other they go together but they're different parts so these are different options it's quite clear i like that 
And then here, you're a process. A process. You don't need to read the parts. You can see this slide is about a process, right? And here you can see there's opposite things you can do. So there's a choice. There's a choice. So both slides are quite good this way. She's telling like the scientific flow, the, the kind of like describing the detail. It has this part, it has this part, it has this part. But both slides weak in that what's the main message? What's the main point, right? So here you need to have your main point, and then here you would have your main point. You see? But you're missing that main point, okay? But I like your slide design because each one shows me very quickly what is the slide about. Okay. Whose slide is this? This one. Okay, Celia, you want to give us a beginning here? Um, Ice cream yeah. buying steps. Yeah, so just steps. Yeah. Steps. Yeah. And first of all, uh, we have to choose our flavor. Uh, I like yeah. this. I like that. Because remember, the main point at the beginning was steps. And then right here, Yeah, uh, because we have, we have decided to buy out ice cream, so uh, the first one is we have to choose a flavor. And there are two options. Uh, one is uh, there are lots of, ty lots of types of uh, ice cream, uh, strips in cones, in cups, or in a sandwich. The way, the way they can be delivered, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And next one, uh, we have to choose what was this just for? one cup. Yeah. Um, what was that? Yeah. And uh, oh, you one, chose that. We chose that. Yeah, ah, we chose that. I see. I see. Yeah, okay. we chose that. And the next one is uh, there are lots of flavors we can choose in blah 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 in this one, and so we have chosen uh, chocolate and pep pep uh, peppermint. Yeah. Peppermint. Yeah, peppermint. So we have two scoops. Okay. And the next step is we are paying for money. Step two. Money. Uh, here we have two situations. The first one is if we have enough coins and so we buy it, we pay for it. If, we, uh, if I don't have enough money, then I will ask help from, from my friends. I'm giving Celia extra credit here. This is quite good. She's done a good job. And, uh, I like yeah. this. And the next step is uh, eating. Uh, so uh, we, I will ask the sales to give me some spoons and we will share with our friends that uh, one, but uh, unfortunately, one of the shop is fall, falls down. <laughs> so it's a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. But. Yeah, and the next one is so uh, we are busy cleaning up with the scrubs and quickly leave with when we finish it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> now, in this case, I think Celia's slides are quite good, and this is a great example. Ice cream buying steps. So the main message we're going to learn about are the steps. Now, if it was me then, I think I would change the title to put steps first. Steps for buying ice cream. Buying ice cream. Okay. Right? Everything up front, and even the most important word up front. This is your main point, because all your slides are about the <coughs> steps. Right? I yep. like that. I like that a lot, but get it up front. Okay? And then, I really like that. Where am I? Remember we said a presentation is like a, like a road map, like a map. This is telling us, you are here, you are here, you are here. Right? Okay. What was your choice? What did you do? Consuming it? Now, here though, this but gets a little bit confusing because it's not really a step, and then the ending doesn't tell us the main point again, right? So you kind of need something, one more thing right here, mm. right? And maybe it would be a summary. So, three steps, easy, right? <laughs> or three steps, not so easy. Or three steps, never goes the way you plan, or something like that, right? Steps, and then a little message, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, actually, it's quite good. So I'll give you some extra credit there for a good job. Okay, next. Okay. My computer is having trouble today. Okay, Eric. Whoops. <laughs> okay, Eric's going to show us. Teacher, I suppose, because next week we talk about... Uh, we have to pay for the copyright of the photo. So I suppose 
we can use the photo. That's on, best. Yes, that's best. On, on internet, <laughs> so I I I okay. draw by myself. All right, that's great. It's what you did this. Oh, only this. <laughs> only this is different. So, all right, all right. Let's. So should I begin here? Yeah, and I want to talk. My main point is, do not trust strangers. All right. So maybe you need to put your main point here. Okay. Okay. So then it would be, do not trust strangers. Don't trust Harry. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. <laughs> and all right. Go ahead. First, uh, the the world is full of dangers. Even such such as me, uh, ignorance and goodness, big boys. And um, a long time ago, uh, once upon a time, I, I see a, a a dream 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 house. Okay. About the ice ice cream. So so I I uh, I go into to the, the, the dream house. About the ice cream, yeah. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> and the next, next, and. You're going in, yeah. The, there's a woman. Yeah, there's a woman. He's a, uh, he's a witch. A witch dressed as a <laughs> witch, a, a waitress. Uh, and the witch, he she used her magic to make ice cream <laughs> to sell me. <laughs> to sell me. And and after I I I ask I ask the witch how much. I, okay. Now I go on next slide. And she just and she just ate. Um, <coughs> next, she said, try it. And I just try the to try the ice cream. Okay. You, you can see you can see me put put and my my mouth <laughs> to try this. And the next I feel freeze. Oh. The witch use use her magic to make me freeze and cold. And the freeze the net the this word is the, the uh, another means is freeze me. Don't move. And the next, next photo, <laughs> she said, "Try need to pay, but, but I'm poor, so I put my my pocket to show her." <laughs> <laughs> and next, next slide. Uh, next. Okay. Uh oh, <laughs> because of because because of her, her terrible magic. Uh, brainwash me so I become one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and she forced me to marry with her, and and so I become one of them. So um, and this is, don't trust, don't trust, don't trust any strangers. This is my main point. This is terrible, <laughs> terrible story. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Eric has a good point. Okay, so Eric's slides are uh, telling a story. And I think this reminds me of if we read like children's stories, right? Children's stories are like this. A long time ago, something, something happened, something, something, something. So this is like a child's story. And a child's story, when you open the book for a child's story, it has pictures like this, right? So something happened, something happened, something happened, right? So that's good. Uh, I think for this, then, like a child's story, you need to make the point very clear because it's like children's story. You need to make the point clear to children, right? The problem here is at a presentation, usually we want to have the main point at the beginning. So it would be don't trust people, something like this. All right, then one by one you tell that story. Now, each slide is a main point, not a point, each slide is one part of the story, one time of the story. And then in the end, then you need to again here say, so what's the point? Here you'd have the point. So here, you couldn't really say, don't trust anyone, could you? Because 
you you've become one of them because I, I, I was brainwashed by a witch but you look very happy there <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot anything <laughs> even even my father and mom and I don't know anything so I I get married with a witch <laughs> it's terrible <laughs> it's not a happy ending <laughs> so all right, so each one has a point. I like that. And the beginning, if you had your main point, at the end, you need to have your main point. Now, usually, children's stories, when you read the book, the ending, the last slide is the main point. But it's usually a, a happy main point. So it's easy to understand. So, like, you know, the frog turns into the prince, and then the prince is happy, and the, and the princess is happy, and it's like, and so they live happy forever and ever right uh, so your ending needs something like that okay you follow so okay that's good I like the point by point but the beginning and the end main points are a little bit lost okay and you did not use any slides from the internet that's very good okay whose is this one here Joanna. okay Joanna Oops, can I go backwards here? Back this up. With the, the figure of this size, I took it by myself. So I think it's, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we begin at the beginning, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so choosing flavors. Look around, look at the customers. Is this your picture here? Yes. Okay. I took it before. Wow, that's mm -hmm. fancy. And then next is first is searching, searching for what kind okay. Of so you have all the flavors here all of the and flavors. different kinds. Yes, okay. Choose. Oh, sorry. All right. Now here's a slide that shows a flow, yes. right? A process. Yes. The process of asking their parents to pay the money, and if the parents say yes, they bring the money, and now if the parents say no. They keep crying and shouting for the ice cream, and then okay. back to convince back to. their parents again. Okay. So I don't need they if consumption of the of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I like the slides in that they tell the main idea. I can just look at the slide and I can see. This is choice, these are options, this is a flow, a process, and this is someone actually consuming it. So the pictures are very good. What you lack is the main point at the beginning and then at the end for us easy to see, right? Okay, good. And all your own, all your own pictures too, that's quite good. Okay, the next one here. Kevin? Yes. Okay. Let me screen that one. All right, Kevin? I'm telling a story too. And okay. Buying an ice cream. In the, in the cold weather, and I go to the park with my friends. And it looks very cold. Snow. Yeah, so the message here is something's cold. Yes. Right? And I okay. have a snow fight. And after snow fight, there must be some loser in the winner. The, okay. loser, uh, the winner told the loser to buy an ice cream. Ah, oh, all right, yes. okay. But nobody here looks like a loser. They all look like uh, winners. I can't, I can't find the, the, the picture. Can't find a picture to look like a loser. Okay, ah, well this is clear message. Somebody's gonna win, somebody's gonna lose. That's good, I like that. All right. Yes, and so somebody loses. The loser choose one. Options. Uh, and go to the go to the vendors and they said you are a loser so you should choose the coolest flavor so they choose the meat I'm getting hungry looking at this <laughs> <laughs> all so right they choose the meat and the loser come back to home and catch a cold <laughs> okay yes. that, that's it yes okay so <coughs> I do like some of these slides. These would be good for backing up your presentation. This is clearly a, a context situation. And then the people, this is win-lose. This is options. 
and then this is some some behavior resulting but the main points missing again <laughs> yeah right so main point at the beginning and then bring it back up at the end so how is this linked to the beginning right not easy to do I'm not saying it's easy I'm not saying it's easy but that's what makes it so that's what makes it easy for someone to follow you see all right okay so that's our problem there another one here this one we already got okay, two more Oh, this one we already did, didn't we? No. Same same first picture though. <laughs> right? Okay. Alright, whose is this? Okay. Laura, go ahead. Uh, I get a special DM of ice cream. Yeah. So I decided to try this ice cream shop. So the the main point is, is what's the main point here? Special ice cream shop. Okay. Yes. It's, uh, it's Next. Size. No. No. Yes. yes. It looks like a fast. Okay. Fast shop and uh, it's different from other ice cream house. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And next. Uh, Next. I look. Uh, waiter, it like a uh, fast. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. Okay. Yes. Next. Is there, uh, there are many flavors of ice cream. I don't know how to how to I choose this ice cream to eat. Finally, yes, I choose this strawberry. Yes, it's has. Delicious for us, but it's very expensive. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Again, this is a nice little story we can follow, and I I do like the the pictures are nice and rich. I want here, and then someone serve me. I have options. I make a choice. I spend my money. It's all very clear, nice and clear. But at the beginning. And at the end, we could use a main point to help us know how do these fit into that roadmap, into that story you're telling, right? Okay? Same thing. Okay, let's check the last one here. Okay. And that's very nice. Whose is this? All right. Maria, so... I like this nice clean look. Find an ice cream shop or vendor. So All right. I'm, I'm, I'm a preschool teacher. Okay. And I'm showing the slides to the children. All right. So look, I'm teaching them the steps. So first is they should find an ice cream shop or vendor. All right. Next, and should I go next? For the second step, like I'm teaching them that it is important to fall in line if there is a queue, mm -hmm. they should wait for their turn. Okay, get in line. Yeah. And for the third step is that they select the flavors they like and they order the quantity they desire. So this is yeah. purchasing it? Yeah. And number four is teaching them that they should pay the total amount and that they should wait for their order and change if there is. Because in my personal experience, I pay for a good and I just walk away. I forget ah. that I bought something. Okay. I, there. I don't think anyone in Taiwan would do that. <laughs> <laughs> From the time little babies, usually their grandparents teach them, hold on to the money. <laughs> I, I pay, I pay, I always pay, but I, I forget to take Good. the good with me. Oh, that happens to me because I'm old. Yeah, okay. And for the fifth step, is because children tend to be um, like rascals. So mm. Hold the ice cream from its scooter cup. Before you make a mess and it melts. And enjoy and finish the tree before it melts. Okay. And for the sixth one. Disposal. Yeah, dispose trash responsibly because they should care for the environment. Okay, so you're kind of like trying to teach something, right? 
So, I like the, obviously we have the steps, right? And each step has an, I, this is not really, these are not really pictures, they're like icons. This represents this, this represents this, this represents this, this represents that, this represents that, right? But I think we still need to have at the beginning, you would have maybe a beginning slide and it would say something like, like what? Teach. Yes. Mm-hmm. That would be good. Uh, uh, learn how. Right? Uh, how to. Right? And then at the end you would say, that's how. So you begin how to, and then that's how. That's how you do it, right? That way at the beginning we know what are we, what's happening, and then at the end we see again what's happening. Okay? All right. So I think today I saw your slide designs, and I think everyone can uh, benefit from a main point at the beginning, a main point at the end, same thing, just maybe set a little bit different, right? For next week's presentations, I think what we want to emphasize is get your content to be less. <clears throat> In your presentation, sometimes slow down. Make sure you have one main point and then maybe two, maximum three. If you have three big things to say, that's really hard because there's only five minutes. So you would have to, you, you'd have to have like main point, one, two, three, and then main point again. It's like one minute for each, it's very hard, right? So get your main point up at the beginning and in your slide design, make sure you have that. At the end, say it again, bring it up again. In your presentation, use this style where you have Sometimes you go slow, and then sometimes I want to show you something, and this is really important. Let me show you the thing I think is key point, blah, 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 blah. Isn't that interesting? Right? You see? So. That's what we want to see next week. And next week, you have more opportunity to do this. Next week should be easier because next week, the assignment is a new product. That's easier than finance. But it's also a little bit dangerous because when you present a new product, you're going to want to tell a lot about the product. You're going to want to say, what's its features, what is it, everything. You have to be careful. Remember, try to get everything shorter, not so much. You don't need to tell everything. When your presentation is done in five minutes, I'm watching, I should think, oh, I got one main idea. You see? I got one main idea. Question? Um, we are making um all new product or we are just taking a new product from the company? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be from the company. For you, this could be a problem. <laughs> what would you... <laughs> okay, I try. Uh, think about it. It's supposed to be a real product. It doesn't have to be really, really new. It could be last year's product. Okay. Because you, what's the chance to have a new product right now? Yes, product or service. Product or service. <laughs> if you want to keep these, you just go downstairs and make a copy. Okay? If you don't want to keep it, just give it back to me. It's okay. Okay, any questions? Yes. Eric? No, it, should, it should be a real product from the company, but it doesn't have to be new right now. It could be like last year or two years ago, because maybe you don't have any new product right now. Although I think all the companies have a new product. So we can create it. No, 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 no. It has to be real. 
has to be real. So Amazon has lots of services they'd come out with, right? I would recommend for Amazon, I would think probably the best choice would be like their eBooks or, yeah. For Netflix, their apps, yeah. Yeah, but that's not really a new service, but it is a it is a product. It is a product. Right. And the product would be uh is the way that the, they deliver the service. So yeah, that that would work. For Apple of course it's easy. For Sans Yeah, I I got I got some ideas. Okay. New shows or what new surface. Okay. All right. Any more? Can you be more Tell me more. Uh. I'm, I'm nervous about your... Because it's, it's so easy for you to... It's going to be too much. Yeah. You see? So I think for like Netflix, the idea is just an app maybe. That's very focused, very specific. Right? Um, in Macau, there is, a, there is a new show in Venetian Macau. And I think it is... Okay, that would make sense. That would be good. Right, that would be very good. Very specific, very clear, easy to be clear. And of course, you need to think what's your main point in your presentation. It's very easy in this case to think, hey, my main point is the product. But that may not be true, just like the slides we just saw. Right, the slides we just saw, the problem is the main point is missing because you think, oh, it's just, a, just tell the story, step one, step two, step three. But no, that's not enough. You need to have a point, then you tell it. Right? Then you make the point again. So the new product may not be the point. There's something about it. And I think a good example is Netflix. If you're talking about the app, that's not really the main point. The main point cannot be the new product. Right. <laughs> Right, exactly. I'm trying to... I, I, just uh, let's think about it for a minute. How could the app be the main point? I mean, nobody pays money for it, do they? But no, but but Netflix doesn't make money from it, do they? Right. What's the app for? What does it do? What does it do? Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Why is it easier? To deliver service. Deliver to where? <coughs> anyone, anywhere. Okay. That was the main point. <laughs> right, you see? You, you follow me? Right? So you, you, this is the problem with your presentations. You guys, you're all thinking, my presentation is about A, so I'll talk about A. A, 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 A. But no, that's not it. And just like the slides, I'm trying to show you, you need to be a little bit, thinking a little bit different that way. You need to say, this is my main point, and then here's the information. If you just tell the information, people don't get it, right? So like last week's presentations, the biggest problem was that everyone's missing that main point. Why? Because you're all thinking, ah, finance, it's about finance, the main point is finance. No. What is the main point? I don't know. That's for you to be creative and think of. Right? Of course, the goal is we want people to buy our stock. And the goal for our product is we want people to buy our product. That's the goal. Of course, that's the goal, to make revenue. But in the Netflix example, perfect example. It's an app, but it's, I'm, not, I'm not really talking about the app. The app is to make sure anyone, anywhere, at any time can get Netflix. And let me show you. A, B, C. Isn't that exciting? What does that do? That's anyone get uh, <laughs> Right? Right? Okay? Is, 
so sad to hear we can create new product. <laughs> because, because at the beginning, we want to sell time machine. <laughs> Uh, Apple does have a product called Time Machine. Oh, really? Stop. Stop. I said Apple has one called Time Machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. they have a they have a they have a product called Time Machine. Yes. <laughs> uh, what's the why is it hard? Why why Starbucks has lots of boring. <laughs> Presentation. Create right, a new one. Right. Okay. Now, I totally appreciate that, but I do this on purpose because I don't want you to waste time to think that way. Think about this. The key, one of the key points is someday when you, when you go to work, and your boss will give you a chance to say, who can go make a presentation? Who can go overseas? Who can go to the, to the uh, conference? Who can go to the uh, show? in Germany, we need somebody to go. There is no way that you're going to be able to choose your topic. This never happens. They always give you a, the topic. And sometimes the topic is very boring, or very lousy, or even the product is not very good, <laughs> right? But that's our job, is to find out what is the main point, right? So I emphasize, because we don't have many presentations left, you need to really begin thinking uh, that main point. What is that main point? How do you make that main point? And it, maybe it's a product, maybe it's accounting, maybe it's finance, maybe it's something else, but what's that main point? Begin with the main point and end with the main point, and everything in between is helping me remember that main point. And then use up the space in your presentation, right? Don't be so closed in. Use a little bit more body language, and then use your transitions next so, in our book we have many transitions, therefore, let me show you, this leads to, but when you do it, you've got to be next, and this is our new product. Sales are going up, sales are going down. It's exciting. It's not so exciting. <laughs> Right? You've got to be expressive to match it, right? And if you're a team, if you're a team, working together can be very exciting and interesting. All right? Any questions about the product, new product? Who are we showing to? Ah, good question. You're going to show it to the target market. So when you make a new product, you have a target market segment, right? Right? So you are showing it to the people who you think are the target market. So you need to read about the real product and see who is their target market. So in SANS, for example, your target market would probably be people who already visit uh, because it's the show, okay. right? There are people who just regularly visit to go see the shows or participate. So that would be your target market segment. Whoever the company thinks is their target market segment. I would imagine for a Netflix, apps development would be for existing customers, maybe. Um, for Apple, I'm, I'm not sure. You have to think about it. For Amazon, depends on which product line you choose. They have Amazons all over the place with their target markets. Okay? Target market segment. I'm going to put that in there right now. Any other questions? No? All right, so next week then, set up your times again. If you have the same time, that's okay. Thursday we'll come in and we'll take off with our company's products. All right, that's all for today. Goodbye. Professor, Professor we are happy and uh, the director uh, and on Wednesday. Come again? Yeah, uh, we, are uh, we are coming for Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, because Thursday and uh, Thursday is... Ah, okay. So one group, just you two for Wednesday. Oh, that's better. If you guys can get your times close, that would be very helpful because I need to turn it on and set it up and all that stuff.
So we have some people on Wednesday, some people on Thursday, that's okay, but if you can get together on Wednesday, together on Thursday, th that's good for me. Okay? No, you don't have to decide right now. You have to give me a little bit of time ahead to get ready. All right, thank you very much.